Hello! Okay, so today I am doing two things. I am reviewing a palette that I am obsessed with and it's become a really big workhorse palette for me and then I'm also going to do a effortless naturally glam holiday look. There was a huge pause there. I was like, is that what I want to call this? Um, because a lot of times you have holiday parties to go to and they're maybe just a dinner or just an after work and you want to look glamorous, but you also don't want to look like you're go staying out till two o'clock in the morning, um, looking all sultry. You want to just look well put together. So I'm going to try not to make this video ridiculously long because, oh no, the lighting was better there. I moved my lights around a little bit, so hopefully that helps. Um, I would normally curl my hair for a video for our holidays because that's how I wear my hair, but I just curled it last night and I kind of wanted to give it a break. So I'm just going to tuck it behind my ear. No, I don't want to do that because I straightened it. The palette I am talking about is the Smashbox Shape Matters palette. I have absolutely fallen in love with this. This is the box and it comes with these cards. Oh, it comes with one of those plastic. Uh, it came with these cards. You could go online and look up how to do things. I just simply didn't do that, but it looks like this. It's a big black palette, as you can see, and it is heavy. It has a huge mirror inside of it. Um, and then it has almost everything that you need to do your makeup. So it has two eyebrow powders, um, an eyebrow wax that I have never used because I use a gel. Um, and they're really good eyebrow powders. I used them to put on my eyebrows today. Yesterday I had a better eyebrow day, which I was super annoyed about. Um, but I quite like them. They go on very smooth, very evenly, and they seem to last a long time. It also comes with a contour powder, a bronzer, a like under eye setting banana powder, which I'm a little bit too fair for. Um, it's not that bad though. Let's see. Just yellow powders don't brighten up my skin just because I'm very pale. And it comes with a highlighter that looks like that, it's quite nice. And then it comes with nine eyeshadows that were kind of the selling point for me. And here I have them swatched. And they are in vanilla, totally nude champagne, then stripped, posh, platinum, and then Sumatra, aubergine, and blackout. So they're just really pretty neutral shades. The only one that swatched out difficult, I had difficult swatching out is this aubergine, but I like how it goes on the lids. And then the contour and the bronzer are amazing. So I'm going to start with that and I'm just going to use my matte contour brush because I'm going to a holiday party in my fantasies and this here. Oh, and I meant to, sorry, where's that eyebrow brush? I was going to swatch on the back of my hand these two eyebrow powders. So here's the lightest one. And then there. Ah, the only thing of this palette is it's really quite heavy. I bought it because I thought it'd be great for travel. And there's the darkest one. So you can see they're both really like cool toned. They're quite nice. I use the darker one on the tail and the lighter one on the inside. I think they could have skipped the wax and done an even darker eyebrow powder in there because this palette is really good for people with fair skin. Um, it was pretty much built for me. So I'm just going to show you the contour powder really quick. I'm just dipping my brush and just in circular motions. So as you can see, it's a cool toned contour powder. I like this brush. I love it, but it sheds like a mofo. Um, yeah, so sometimes you're going to a holiday party and you don't want to look like you're trying too hard, but you still, I'm going to zoom in, sorry. Um, but you still want to look like you're trying, and, but you can see like that's just a nice natural contour, which I probably got a little bit ham on trying to get it to show up on camera really well, but, and then I just take what's left and go along my nose. Last night I even took my fingers and I like completely reshaped my nose and then blended it out. And then you can take this yellow powder and 
bring it down the bridge of your nose to make that look skinnier. And I like, I do like it for that as a non-glittery highlight. And then I would take, for the bronzer, I would take my Tarte brush, which I can have a video review going up soon, but there's the bronzer. The only thing is this brush and this bronzer, they're not the right size. This is a huge brush, but it, see this hair is so annoying. And, um, and then just to warm up the skin. And to really blend out. I like a really natural contour and then I take what's left down my neck. This is just tipped a little bit too much. There, that's better. I just like my forehead. I can't seem to get my forehead and my lips in camera. There. Uh, it gets really hot in here with these lights and then my hair curls. And then just for a quick finish up the face, I'm going to use this MAC um, Plum Foolery Blush on a blush brush of some kind. I can't seem to find mine. Here it is. So on a Sephora angle blush brush. And this to me gives the perfect winter flush. Like just been outside. I love plummy brushes, blushes in the winter. And then in the summer, I really love corally blushes. And I feel like in the winter, you can go a little bit more ham on your brush, blush. I just take this, uh, this is just the It Cosmetics, I call it the ball brush, but I just take a fluffy brush and make sure everything is blended out and I don't look like a clown. And then to demonstrate the highlighter, I feel like I'm rushing and I should have done this in two separate videos, but the lid does not stay up well. That is a complaint about it. But that highlight, do you see it? It's really pretty. It's a little bit powdery. Oh, you can really see it on that side. Um, and then just a smidge on my cupid's bow and then what's left on my chin. Okay, on to the eyes to get this, because that's really, for me, what matters. I'm gonna use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime today, because I feel like it. When I pick a primer, there's really no rhyme or reason other than it's the first one I grab out of the drawer. I only like to bring my paint pot kind of eyebrow level. And you're like, damn girl, that's a quick holiday tutorial and it's really going to be. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and this um, vanilla color right here. I think that's what it's called. I hate it when the names and I'm just going to Sweep this up there. Just to give the crease color something to blend out too. And then I'm gonna use this color here, which is called Stripped, which is a really nice transition shade on a MAC 224. It is powdery. I do find these to be powdery. But it's my first transition shade. And I'm taking that quite high up the brow bone. Now you just try to pick up what powder is left. And again, quite up. Let me angle myself a bit. Now I'm going to use the bronzer color, which I actually think is a perfect transition shade. Just to deepen up that transition and give it more dimension. Do you see? It's just, it's a perfect transition shade and a powder is a powder so I'm going to utilize it for that. You can really, any bronzer, if it looks good on your skin tone, is a good transition shade. And then I'm also going to take a pencil brush and take that bronzer color again and go along my lower lash line and make probably a crazy alien face. But that's really going to make my blue eyes stand out, that kind of warmer tone um, tan color. And then I'm going to take my MAC 217 and I'm actually going to take the contour shade and deepen up that transition. 
even more. Okay, now going into a little bit of sparkle. The shade is called Platinum and it's a really pretty sparkly taupe color. Again, on my MAC 217. And this is gonna be our crease color. And it's just gonna blend into those warmer tones really nicely. And make it a little bit more festive. There is quite a bit of fallout with this, but we'll be able to brush that away. So don't touch that fallout. Oh, you can hear my neighbors. I get, I open the window because it gets so hot in here. So you can see like that's just a pretty silvery taupey brown and with those warm browns underneath, it blends out so smoothly. And then I'm going to take the pencil brush and I'm going to run that silvery, that what was it called again? Platinum color under the lower half of my lash line and up. And up and kind of taking it more into that crease with that pencil brush. Just because I like the shape that gives my eye and it really brightens up that area. And then I, because I want to deepen it a bit, I'm going to take the tiniest amount of black eyeshadow and put that on my outer corner, upper outer corner, because we're going to be putting um, a ColourPop eyeshadow over top of the whole lid. So we're just deepening up that outer corner like a smidgen, just to make our eyes pop a bit more. There's something in this eye, I'm so sorry. Maybe it's just a bang. And then we're gonna take again a tiniest amount of that black shadow and deepen up the other outer corner. Like just such a little amount, but it will make a difference in the end, keeping that eye kind of open looking. And then we are going to take, this is my focus camera. Oh, look at the fallout. So we're gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna sweep away all of that fallout. That's better. So this is by Urban Decay and it's their naked 24 seven in Crave and in, what's the other side in? Venus. And I'm gonna just so lightly line the lower lash line with Crave. Like, really lightly. Just enough to make it kind of stand out a bit more. And then I like to take a clean angle brush, so let's just make sure there's nothing on here, and kind of smooth that out. And then you can take the light side and do your inner corner. It's hard to be like funny and sassy while you're doing this, but, oh well, hopefully it's not, oh, that lid keeps popping off. All right, so now we're gonna use, this is by ColourPop, and this is their color in I Heart This, I love this, but look what happens to your ColourPops after a while. Do you see how it's crumbling? So much of it just landed in my hand. It still works, but I'm glad I only bought, so this is gonna be, and you could use any neutral, sparkly eyeshadow. But I just like a little bit of glitter for the holidays. And we're gonna have to brush off all that color pop fallout. Oh, sparkles everywhere. I would really smash it into your finger well. But it's just pretty. See, I like it. And that black really makes the outer corner stand out. I have nowhere to wipe this, one second. My poor hair gets so hot in here. 
All right, so now we are going to line our upper lash line with our liquid eyeliner, which I purposely had out for this video. I'm just using the Tarte's Camera Light Lashes one that I hate, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it. Um, this ColourPop, ColourPop when they're crumbly, there's normally no, when they're not crumbly, there's normally no fallout. It's just because mine's probably a year old now. So I'm just gonna do probably a pretty simple eyeliner and hope to stay in camera. So because those transition colors, like the bronzer color and the contour color and the transition color in that palette is so good for my skin tone, it's really become an amazing workhouse, a workhorse palette for me. I'm just gonna do a really small wing. Drag that across. I hate this eyeliner, I do not recommend it. Um, I really miss my Kat Von D Trooper, but I'm using this until it's gone. Because I hate wasting money more than I hate this eyeliner. But, oh, look at that wing, it's terrible. I have no idea how I'm gonna fix that. I meant to do a little wing with this look, but that is not what we got. Oh, I hate that wing. Oh well, that's what we have. And my eye's gonna water it all off. Hopefully I'm still on camera. I really, really hate this eyeliner. Well, those aren't the same at all. Oh, I hate this eyeliner. This is real life. Sometimes your eyeshadow is on point and your eyeliner is a piece of crap. Well, that is just how they're gonna be. Like, not even a little bit even. Oh. Well, there goes for like a naturally glam. Now we just have winged glam. I do really like the eyeshadow though. I stand behind the eyeshadow. Okay, now I just have to find my mascara because I put it away somewhere weird. Here it is. So I'm using the Roller Lash sample still. Kind of loving it. Uh, because I was doing naturally glam, I'm not going to put on fake eyelashes. No, on a wing like this. Fake eyelashes would look best, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna put my mascara on and I'm gonna cut that out because that is super boring to watch. And this video is already 20 minutes long. Okay, so that is the mascara on. And then for lips, I'm just gonna use this Bite Cosmetics and Torte that came in the Rewind set. And I have a like lip treatment underneath that you could wear. One second. Okay, so that's the final look. Uh, you could really wear any lip color with this eye look. Look how mangled this wing, focus on me please camera, did not end up that bad. This wing, uh, I, I don't know how to fix that. I'm gonna have to go on some makeup remover, but that is just the nature of the beast. Let me reverse a little bit. Sometimes, your wings don't end up perfect, but the eyeshadow is good, which is what I'm talking about. This palette, it does get fingerprinty. It is, I wanna say $70 Canadian. I got it during the 20% off sale, so that was good. Um, so I probably got this for like $50, I think, but it's just good stuff, like I like it. I recommend it. It does with the ColourPop in, with this silvery, goldish, champagne-y color. I think it really does a nice 
supposed to be neutral but somehow ended up mostly winged eyeliner holiday look. Uh, I don't recommend this tarte eyeliner because look I have like a bald spot here. I don't recommend it. So that's the final look and that's my review. Those are the swatches of the eyeshadows again and I forgot to swatch. So this is the bronzer color and this is the um, contour color. So you can see how that's a lot warmer. We can also see how pretty that looks in the crease. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful until I did the eyeliner. The eyeliner portion, ignore. Find a better eyeliner tutorial on YouTube. There is lots. Jacqueline Hill, she's great at it. So thank you so much for watching. I highly recommend this palette. It's just good. I love it. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and a very happy holidays. Bye.